One of my mentors when I was in medical school was a pathologist, and he just um, was very good at teaching. And many of us in, in that particular year started doing pathology. And once I started learning more about pathology, that's really where I realized that oncology would be the best fit for me because I would get to be able to learn about oncology and the impact on patients, not just learning about how to define um, the tumor type based on what it looks like under a microscope. Yeah, I think for any physician, we are very fortunate to have patients share their lives with us. And some of that is their medical um, illness, um, but you know, there's much more depth to many of our patients beyond just a medical diagnosis. And so I think that's one of the things that here at the Cleveland Clinic and wherever I work, I hope to bring to my patient care is getting to know the patient, getting to know their families, how to best design a support system for them through whatever decisions lie ahead. One of the things that I love about um, oncology in general is that it's not one person, it's the nurse practitioner, the nurse, the staff, the support staff, the fellows, the residents, everybody is incorporated into, into the patient's care. Um, I couldn't do what I want to do or reach the patient to the way that I want to reach the patient without everybody's input. One of the things that touched me the most by one of my patients and their families was um, a question that arose in the first session was, you're not gonna leave me, are you? And so their experience prior to coming to the clinic was their physician didn't know what to do, so they just stopped. And they felt very overwhelmed by isolation in that sense because they didn't know what to do either. Um, so I think in the first visit, it's really important for any patient to know that even if we don't know exactly what to do at that moment, we'll figure it out and we'll move forward together.